Now we're going to look at how we can navigate around the Smart View panel. From the Smart View ribbon, we can select the panel. It starts by displaying Smart View Home. We can always get back to Smart View Home by clicking the Home button. So here we can access Shared Connections, where we can make a connection to a particular product or application. And once we've got a shared connection, we have the possibility to make that into a private connection. You also have a list of recently used items. It is possible to clear these recently used items. If we go to the Smart View ribbon and go to Options, in Advanced, you've got this large button here called Delete All MRU Items. That's Most Recently Used Items. So to navigate around the Smart View panel, we start with Smart View Home and we go into a shared connection. At this point, I need to log in and provide my authentication details. The username and password is exactly the same as the username and password that you'll enter on the workspace. Remember though that your password is case sensitive. Here I have a list of shared connections and we're looking at Oracle Hyperion Financial Management. It then displays the name of the server and I can drill down, see the different applications and then drill down further into the application. The good thing about the Smart View panel is that you can always close it, select the panel again, and it always remembers exactly where you were. So when you're navigating around, into task lists, opening data forms, when you've navigated to the particular document that you wish to work with, you can close the Smart View panel, come back to the panel button, and open it again. So we can go back to Smart View Home, or I can click this link which will take me out of the task list and back into our list of applications. If I click the Home button, it will take me back to Smart View Home. So your start point is always with the Smart View panel and into the shared connections. Once you've used a shared connection, then it's possible to click on the application and create a private connection.